Welcome to the next video on SQLite. In this video, I'll show you how to use the uh, union, intersect, and accept statements in SQL with the SQLite database. Considering I've already set up the, uh, the, the database, so let's do a dump. Okay, so we have three tables. That is the short colors, where I've got violet, purple, ultraviolet, indigo, blue, blah, blah, blah. I've got long colors. We have red, orange, infrared, yellow, green, and unique. Whoops, and just green. Notice that yellow is common between the two tables, and there's a reason for that. Um, and then in the colors table, I've got a whole bunch of colors, some of which are in common with the other tables. So um, you can do basic set operations, such as select star from colors, and you can see all the colors that are in the colors table. You can do select star from short colors, get everything in the short colors table, and of course, you can, oops, you can also see the long colors. Now, if you want to um, see colors in common, so let's say you want to see uh, colors in the uh, short colors and the colors table. What, what, what colors do you have in total? You can go select star from colors, intersect, um, select star from short colors. Okay, now let's analyze the statement. Select star from colors gives you all the colors in the colors table. Select star from short colors gives you all the colors in the short colors table. When you intersect them, it will only uh, give out the colors that are in common. So in this case, the common colors are blue, green, indigo, navy blue, purple, ultraviolet, violet, and yellow. You notice the colors table from before had a lot more colors, and those colors were excluded. Okay, now I can also go, um, uh, similarly, I can see the intersection with the long colors. And you'll see a different list. Again, they're in common between the two tables. And if you want to see the um, the intersect between short colors and long colors, you'll notice there's only yellow and green common between these two tables. In general, an, uh, an SQL intersect statement has an SQL query on the left, the intersect keyword, and then another SQL query on the right. Now, if you want to see all the colors in the lists, you can go select star from short colors, union, select star from long colors. Now union is the opposite of intersect. Instead of picking out the colors in common, it picks out all the colors in both lists. So it has, you know, everything blue, green, indigo, infrared, navy, blue, orange, purple, red, uh, ultraviolet, yellow. Now what you'll notice is even though both lists had, I believe it was um, yellow and green in common, which we have uh, up here, right up in here, um, because there the union has, because there were two rows exactly the same in the union, it only selects the distinct row. So if yellow appears twice, it only comes up once. All right, um, similarly, um, if you want to see the colors, you know, between the between the union from other tables, um, you can go just, you know, for example, colors, you know, colors and short colors union together. And you'll notice it actually looks the same as colors, uh, again, because uh, the, the, the short colors is actually a subset of the colors table. Now, so I've shown you how to use the union statement to get a union of the colors from one table to the colors from the other table. I've shown you how to get the intersect statement, which gives you the colors in common between the two two tables or two lists. Now there's another keyword. Okay, let's um, let's uh, look at this one. Select star from long colors. Okay, and let's say select star from short colors. Okay, now what I want to do is get all the colors that are in long colors but not in short colors. In which case I'll go select star from long, whoops, 
oops, <laughs> reposition the fingers, select star from long colors, except, you can use except in uppercase or lowercase, I'm just doing it to highlight it, except, um, select um, star from short colors, okay, now you notice long colors has yellow and green, short colors has green and yellow in it, okay? So if we if we take out all the common elements, so what, basically what you're saying is take whatever you have in long colors, take out everything that also appears in short colors, which means what's left in the list is everything in long colors except what's in short colors. So if you look at the list, you'll notice it's the same list as up here, except that yellow and green are missing. Finally, um, finally, if you want, to, so what the except does is it removes uh, elements that intersect, which is kind of, except is kind of the opposite of intersect. Okay, finally, if you want to see which colors are in the colors table, but not in the long sh colors or the short colors table, you do this. Select star from colors. Okay, that gives you the main set that you're picking from, except now you have to have a valid SQL query on the right side of the except. So because it, the query itself is a union, you have to go select star from open brace. Now you have to get the union of the short colors and the long colors because those are the colors you want to get rid of. So you go select star from short colors union select star from long colors and we'll just call it as long short and then we'll that's it. Okay, so again, you have a valid SQL statement on the left. You have the accept clause and a valid SQL statement from the right. Now, to tell the SQL engine that they have to parse this query first before they take this 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 result on the right-hand side of the accept and then remove those elements from colors, that's why you have to do the double select and then open brace and uh, and, and select it as long short. So here's what you get. Now here's, this is what you have. You have all the colors that appear in the colors table minus the colors that are in the long, ta long, ta long colors table and minus the colors in the short table. So union, intersect, and accept can be used to manipulate your data and figure out what you have in common between lists, what you have in total between lists, and to uh, trim lists of common elements. And that concludes this video. I hope you find it useful in building your SQL queries.